Hello, small people. Hello, dark, small friends. Look, see, get it? Because it's Dark Mario. It's Black Mario. It's <laughs> why? Why do you have to say? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you saying Dark Mario? You racist against dark people. Well, yeah, but like dark is like the thing, like Dark Link and Dark Samus. It's the dark side. Why does Dark Link exist? He doesn't really. Hmm. I mean, each game that he appears in, it's like something where it's like, oh, he's a mirror version, or he just kind of is there, or whatever. Dark Samus what? actually has like a lore to her. Yeah. But it's like a copy made by FaZe, whatever they FaZe are. On. FaZe well, on. Well, Dark Samus is like actually literally Me Metroid Prime, which is interesting. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that, which is mm. cool, because like, of course, Dark Samus is in the new Smash Bros. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, it's just Black Sam. Well, that's what some people think. They're like, "What the fuck? Who is who is this?" And like, dude, that is literally Metroid Prime. <laughs> yeah. uh, Get your shit together. I don't own Metroid Prime actually. What? Not the first one or the second one. I know. Uh, did you just rent them or something? Yeah. Hmm. I have three, uh, of which I have a really embarrassing story about. Oh, okay. Shall I tell it on did this you, episode of you? Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube released yeah. in 2002? Welcome to. Uh, call this episode Eisner and embarrassing story. <laughs> okay. Oh fuck. I fucked up. <sighs> no. No. God there damn we it. Go. Um, okay, so basically oh actually you know what's gonna I just realized this is the last Jane. Oh. <coughs> I'll talk about it in a minute. Alright. After the credits. <laughs> something wrong. something cool happens now. Oh. Mario gets to gets to fight Bowser. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> not quite yet. I mean, Mario yeah. finds out What's who his this? dad is. <laughs> this is one of the coolest scenes. There he is. Oh wait, it's not. It hasn't happened yet, has it? Well, maybe it has. I don't know. I can't tell. Oh yeah, it has. Look at that. Oh. It's flooded. Yep, the town is flooded. Nice. What the fuck? At least the boats are still running. It's like Venice. Yeah. It's been I nice. mean, it's already like Venice, but now it's more like Venice. Yeah. Oh my god. What sake. the fuck? Uh, okay. Just found a little glitch there. It's no problem. How's it going, sir? The boats are still running, even in these conditions. Amazing. I know. Well, why would they not be running? That's true, I mean, all they need is water. Mm. Can't actually leave the town, though. <laughs> it was just kind of funny. Mm. But yeah, this is kind of cool, because this is the only time in the whole game that this happens, where everything's just flooded. Mm. What does it say? Residents are advised to seek shelter. Does it say it, like, rained a lot? I don't even know. No. But yeah, this is pretty cool. You can just kind of fuck around. There's nothing really to do, though. You just see the pianos on the fucking top. Chase Shadow Mario. We'll do that later, dude. Look, there's the beach, and there, look, the fish are up here. Oh, man. I wonder if Shadow Bowser is actually real Mario. Shadow Bowser? Yeah. It's real Mario. Shadow Boozer. The Boozer. Alright, so we just fucking head off to the final area yeah. of the entire game. Just while I tell game. my embarrassing story about Metroid Prime 3 corruption for the Nintendo Wii released in, I don't know, let's say yeah, 2008. Seven, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, basically, in Metroid Prime 3 corruption for the Nintendo Wii released in 2008, there is a mechanic in it called um, uh, Hyper Mode. Mm -hmm. And basically what Hyper Mode does is at the expense of your health, it allows you to be super powerful for a, a little while. Or well, like while you have it. So like while you're using it, it drains your health. I don't know why I'm trying to spray him. Uh, last level, Corona Mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um... <clears throat> So uh, basically, uh, that's a feature that is pretty much required to be used to finish the game. So like to get really powerful and you can destroy a lot of enemies really quickly with it. Kind of makes you pretty OP. Uh, and many people consider the game to be really easy due to the fact that you can just use this hyper mode at any point in the game at the expense of your health. Mm -hmm. However, stupid little young kid me, uh, the way they describe the game, the the ability in uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption from the Nintendo Wii released in 2008 was that you shouldn't ever use it because it's super fucking dangerous and there is actually a really cool scene that if you use 
if you use all your health in hyper mode, you do get an interesting scene where you turn into Dark Samus. I died immediately. Mm. Um, you turn into a, a new Dark Samus, and you have blue blood and everything. It's pretty cool. Mm. But they emphasize so, so heavily that you should not use hyper mode because it's so risky. In the game. Yeah, in the game. As like a story related thing. Okay. That it really, that it put me off from using it and I never used it, right? So yeah. as a result, I had a really fucking difficult time with the game and actually ended up giving up. But if you actually bother to use the mechanic that they give you in the game, uh, it's quite easy, apparently. So I never finished Metroid Prime 3 Corruption because I'm a little dum-dum. There's my fun story. My fun, embarrassing story about Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. <sighs> I suppose what they mean by don't ever use it is you got to balance, you got to be careful with how you use it. Well, yeah, exactly. That's the idea. But like, I interpreted it one way. Because it, it baffled me because Aaron finished the game before I could. I'm like, what the fuck, man? You don't even know what a Metroid is. <laughs> um... And I'm like, I'm all Mr. Metroid. I'm not Mr. Metroid. There are many Metroid games I haven't played and many more that I haven't finished, but I know a lot about it, so... Uh, ben was really into Metroid. He was. Yeah. I'm more into Metroid. Ask me any Metroid and I'll tell you. I am um, Metroid 5. Uh, that's Prime. Yeah. M Metroid 4. That is Fusion. Metroid 3. That is Super Metroid. Oh, I'm fucked. And Zero Missions, Metroid 1. Technically. Oh, Zero what? Mission is a remake of Metroid what? 1. What was that one Metroid? Is that is it actually one called Metroid 1? It's called Metroid. No, no, no Yeah, but what's the Samus one? Samus Returns? Other M? Other M. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that one sucks dick. Isn't that supposed to be... A, is that a sequel or a prequel? I mean, it's just kind of there. Yeah, it's an cool. awful game and I wouldn't recommend ever playing it and it's one of those horrible fucking situations where that game they experimented a lot they did a lot of really stupid things and it made the game awful and um I think I had this game over didn't I nope I'm still gone oh I'm getting one ups um it was an awful game and as a result it didn't sell well and didn't review well so Nintendo instead of taking that as any sane person would being like well they didn't like that game because we experimented a lot, let's try not to do that again. They took it as, well, I guess people just don't like Metroid anymore. When, of course, the exact opposite was true. Wait, what made you think that they don't like Metroid anymore? Or that they, they well, thought what that? Made, because it didn't sell well. And it, well, it, when, it wasn't reviewed well. Did they say something? Well, no, but it's implied. Because they didn't make another Metroid game for many, many years. And the, the last Metroid game they made was a remake of Metroid 2. Which came out, like, last year or the year before. Yeah. I didn't take my time what, on this a little bit. What's it called? What? Uh, Metroid 2 Remake. Return of Samus. Ah. Uh. Okay, so the original... I get it mixed up. Metroid 2, the original, is called like Samus Returns. Yeah. And the remake is called Return of Samus. Or, or the other way around. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ask me more Metroids. I'll be playing the last level more. So <laughs> Metroid 10. I don't believe there is one. There might be out of fucking there. Look, this is really hard. Oh. <sighs> oh. So I'm on a wooden boat on lava. So I'm just gonna do a bit of this. No, it's this way. This way, this way, this way. This is the hardest part of the game. Kinda. I mean, it is the last level, so you know. Well, I mean, in this boat bit. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it really is, because they don't really teach you how to do how to maneuver this boat. I mean, there is a level where we could have done the boat, but it doesn't really do anything for us. It's just kind of like, oh, here's a side thing. Mm. I guess you just expected to find it. Mm. It's going to take your time. You can boost this boat really quickly through this area, but if you lose it, you're fucked. So, you know. Like that. Okay. Should we, uh, is he, uh, did the timer go off? Yeah. Should we uh, leave this until the next episode of the last episode of Mario Sunshine, the Nintendo GameCube released in 2002? Yep. Alrighty, next time, one Metroid.